I'd like to show you now uh, how our collection of fragrances work. We have a, a fragrance collection of, at the moment, six fragrances, um, which have really a unique concept because these fragrances have been specifically created so that they can be blended together. So they always come as a top, a mid and a base. So the top will be a fragrance that is typically brighter, fresher, with kind of citrusy note or green note. A mid means that it's more of a mellow, kind of softer, not fresh, not heavy fragrance. And the base will be very deep, very warm, very long lasting. So each collection will always be designed in this trio collection. And all of these fragrances have been specifically created so that in any possible combination, any proportion that you choose, they will actually work together. So let me introduce to you each layer so that you really know them. So the two from the top are the bergamot incense and then the fig neroli. So each of these fragrances will be on the fresh side of uh, the spectrum. So bergamot incense is more of a citrus spicy, works around the bergamot and frankincense, whereas the fig neroli will be more of a kind of green floral or green woody, worked around fig leaf, basil, petit grain, and then of course neroli so orange blossoms. You then have the mid layers. So the mid layers here, so more mellow, softer, so jasmine osmentus and the rosary bark. So jasmine osmentus is worked around a jasmine and osmentus, so it smells quite frangipani, tiare, tuberose, etc. And then rosary barb, which is worked around a duo of ingredients of rose and rhubarb, where rhubarb is worked in overdose with rose and peony here. And then the base layers are sandalwood musk and amber iris. So sandalwood musk will be the uh, creamy sandalwood. It's very mineral. There's a lot of amber sand, which is an ingredient that makes it smell a little bit like sand. And amber iris, it's a true oriental with iris root, with incense, myrrh, ingredients. Lots of naturals in amber iris. So you've got these two trio of fragrances. When you decide to blend fragrances together, you can blend one of each, one top, one mid, and one base, in whatever combination. So you can mix and match. So let me show you how you can blend and create fragrances. You can do that in three ways. First, I would really recommend, if you don't know where to start, so you go on our website, take the quiz. Here you will be asked, what scent do you prefer? What fragrance do you like to wear? And what type of perfume notes you're drawn to in a fragrance? And from there, we've got five blends that are recommended to me. So these five blends, you will have the recipe, the formula of like how many parts you can blend at home. If you want to go rogue and really be experimental, then this blending collection here, is here to help you have fun and create a home. So the way it works is that you will have one top, one mid, one base, and then the blending bottles. So the bottles here that will be joining your collection will have eight parts in total of whichever combination you want to have. For instance, I'm gonna want to go for the Ambre Rose, which is six part of Amber Iris and two part of Rose, and you take your little pipette. So here I've got the amber iris and I want six parts. So I just go up to where it says six on the little bottle. And so we want to complete the rest with two parts of rose. Tighten it up to make sure that it doesn't leak. And then you do like a simple shake. And that's it, you've got your amber rose here. The next thing you can do is to ask us to do it for you. So if you're not sure what to do, or if you don't want to blend at home, then we can do it for you. So it's very simple. You take the questionnaire, you pick a blend, or even better, discover from the bespoke discovery set all of the 20 blends that we can recommend, and then you pick the one that you prefer.